Warchant.com here with a man of hour, Derek McLennan from Tucker High School here at the Five Star Challenge. Don't get any bigger than this, uh, but here with Derek. Before we get to the good stuff, Bo, I wanted to talk to Derek. Derek, tell me just about this process. What has it been like? How stressful or is it not stressful or what has it been like? From, from mid-season 11th grade, you know, it was a fun, it was fun. You know, mm -hmm. coaches coming in, yeah, we offered you. You know, that's, that's a dream. That's a dream you have since since you started playing football, but now it's to a point now, okay, it's time to make a business decision, mm -hmm. so. Got family, we talked about this. You got family in Jacksonville, you got family in Live Oak, uh, certainly near the, near the Florida State and Tallahassee area, but uh, so many schools, what, what was the difference with these three schools that you're down to? What, 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 what did they do differently than other schools? Um, just, it just felt, it just felt like my heart was in, at this school that I've decided on, and so uh, uh, a guy once told me, he said, he said your, he said your mind, he said your mind will lead you many different ways, but your heart, it'll lead you in the right place, and so. Yeah, and and, you, and certainly uh, all of them have things that you like. Obviously, Kevin Patrick at, at NC State, Florida was your first offer, and then and then FSU, they really you know surge so. Without further ado, I'll just let you uh, take it over uh, and tell everyone where you're going. Um, well, without further ado, um, I'd like to thank God, thank my mom, my dad, um, my coaches at Tucker High School, and just giving me the opportunity to play. And also, I'd like to thank Coach Taggart at Florida State for making this a family. And I'll be taking my talents to Tallahassee. There you go, uh, Florida State, uh, another big commitment on the defensive line. We kind of joked about this, that you and, uh, and you know, Curtis Fan was the latest one. You and Curtis are actually really close. Talk about that relationship. He's almost like my brother. You know, <laughs> we talk every day. <laughs> he asked me, like, when he first, he first got his offer, he asked me, he was like, man, where we going, man, where we going? Like, man, I don't know yet, man, I don't know. And so, just... You know, I, he wasn't. He wasn't. He was. A, he was also a factor in my decision. But just, just talking, just talking it over with my family, talking it over with you know, praying, asking God to lead me in the right way, talking it over with my coaches at Tucker High School, and so just through that process, you know, I weighed my options, and I just felt like Florida State was the right place for me. Yeah. They weren't always there, though. Yeah. Yeah, they they really surged with you on that first visit. And I, I could tell you were blown away by that first visit. Mm -hmm. Was that when you kind of knew, like, man, this thing is changing? I mean, definitely. <laughs> it was, you know, I, they were they were like one of my last few offers. You yeah. Know? Them, and, them and NC State, two, two schools that are that were in my top three. And yeah. so when I, um, I, went, I went to Florida State, just, just okay. I'm gonna go down there. They want me to come. Went down there and I did not. It, it blew me away. You know, Coach Kelly. He's also he, he's always been he's always been a good person. Cause you know every school he's been at, he's offered me at. Mm -hmm. And so, just getting to know the coach and staff throughout this process, they just felt genuine. Like I said in yeah. the first interview, mm -hmm. and I separated the real from the fake. Yeah. And so. And they weren't even in your top five. Yeah. <laughs> they, they were like outside they were your not, top five. Yeah, they weren't in my top five. But uh, tell me about Coach Schneider. I mean, you know, Curtis fan raved about Coach Schneider. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the relationship with Coach Schneider for you. Coach Schneider's just a, I mean, he, he's a great guy, you know. He's, um, he, he seemed genuine. He, um, he asked me more, he asked me more questions about my life than, than football. There's a Derek outside of football, and I want people to know that. And so that's right. what it is. It's been pretty clear, you know, the guys that are jumping on board, you know, like Curtis and now you, you know, they want to get out there and, and build this thing up with yeah. this class. Uh, tell me about stuff that you, if you know some guys, if you don't, it's fine. Uh, but just what you would tell them, and, then, and I guess whoever it is, what would you tell them about FSU? Just they're building a family, you know, Coach. Um, Coach Taggart, he's a great guy. He's he, his players are. He he's a players coach. Mm -hmm. You know, his players can come talk to him about anything, which you know, a lot of players. You know, they go to these schools and they've never seen their their head coach's office after their official visit mm -hmm. or after the day they commit. 
And so I, just, I see players when I'm down there, I see players in and out of his office. <laughs> all he has a P, he had, uh, he has PlayStations all over yeah. his office. Like, and I know it's not for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I see players come in and just sit on his couch and play. Yeah, you definitely have, you know, now you, um, Akeem Dent here, uh, Dante Lucas is supposed to be here. Um, do you talk to any of those guys? Uh, no, not yet. Okay. I haven't spoken to any of those guys, but I definitely, I, I just met the quarterback that's committed. Right. Uh, what's Sam Howe. Sam Howe, I just I met got him. You. And so we're talking it over right now. We're, we're getting to know each other. You're going to meet with a lot of guys. Any friends you know that are at this thing that you know? Um, you know, my boy Jaden. You know, no Jaden Hasselwood, we've been playing since Little League. We've been playing really? since. Really? So y'all know yeah. each other. What, what do you, like how well do you know Jaden? Um, I mean, like, since five and under, six and under. You oh, know, wow. I know Jaden long. Isaiah, you know, Isaiah Dunson. Okay. He's he's a player at my school. Right. Definitely on the rise. Right, definitely. Um, you know, Rashad Chaney. Okay. We've been playing together since Little League. <laughs> uh, I mean, it varies, you know. Uh, Josh Downs, mm -hmm. great friend of mine. We play AAU basketball together. Okay. So. Well, tell me about Jaden a little bit since he's a guy that, <laughs> yeah, FSU fans probably want to hear about. But does he talk about FSU a lot with you? Uh, he doesn't talk about it a lot, but I'm trying to change his mind. He said, I mean, you saw the post he made. He yeah. said his recruitment is wide open yeah. still. And so. So you're going to get to work. Oh, what? Oh, what? <laughs> Definitely, man. Well there, you, well, there you go. Well, Derek, tell me about what you, you know, before I let you go, what you want to get out of this kind of five-star challenge of that? Um, well, I just want to let people know that not not to even be, not to be cocky, still in the, in the most humblest way that I, I'm up there or I am just the top defensive lineman in the, in the country. Okay. Definitely. Okay. And so. I mean, I know, I know the work that I put in. I know, I know what we go through in in the Cab County period to, yeah. to just get our names out there. Right. You know, one of the, I mean, one of the most underrated counties in in Georgia yeah. when it comes to talent. You know, we have a ton of talent. Yeah, well, certainly. Uh I know you just made a lot of Seminole fans smile. More good news for FSU. Once again, here with new FSU commitment, Derek McLennan from Tiger High School. This is Michael Langston at the Five Star Challenge.